It's a big day, reopening schools here in South Florida. Today, some Miami-Dade County Public Schools reopened their doors for in-person learning. It was the beginning of a staggered start for the kids. And of course, there were many safety measures put in place. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live at a school in Doral with how things are going on this first day. Trent. Well, Janice, according to the district, so far there have been no issues reported at any of the 300 schools that reopened their doors today. And you know, this comes after district officials had to basically push up their reopening date following a threat from the state to take away funding. Well, despite that last minute change last week, the superintendent saying today he's pretty pleased with what he's seen so far. I love the fact that everybody's wearing your masks. A return to the classroom for some 22,000 students in Miami-Dade County as the district begins the first phase of its staggered start to in-person learning. Here to report happily that uh, I've seen nothing but happy faces, both uh, teachers and students. The superintendent visiting nearly a dozen schools today as pre-K, kindergarten and first graders who opted out of virtual class made their big return to a brick and mortar classroom. I just witnessed in all schools I visited custodians going by constantly wiping down handles of doors and monitoring and sanitizing bathrooms. In addition to stepped up sanitation and signage, the district has also provided more sanitizer and spaced out every desk. All students must also wear a face covering, which staff will check for before they walk in. Obviously, we have to have a mask on. All of the students had their mask. We actually practiced it during uh, the online learning component. In the event a student does test positive for COVID-19, the district says every parent at the school will be notified. The superintendent also encouraging anyone who sees people breaking the new protocols to report it immediately. I'm not concerned. I actually think that teachers and students with the almighty power of, uh, of this will be perfectly able to tell us where things are not right. And that's actually what I'm encouraging. And overall, we're told about half of the uh, student population here in Miami-Dade County has opted out of in-person learning. That means those kids will continue to do their virtual classes from home. This physical reopening will not change any of that. The next group of students is slated to return this coming Wednesday with all grades supposed to be back in the classroom by the end of this week. For more on this phased reopening and some of the changes that your students can expect to see, Follow me on social media. I've got a link posted at Trent Kelly WPLG. That's the very latest live from Doral. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.